building the Shelob Spider for my Lord of the Rings themed Halloween. I had been wanting to do the spider build ever since I saw it first being done years ago by Jamie and Jay at Wicked Makers. The first step is to build a form that you like with your chicken wire. When you're happy with those shapes, you cover it in the saran wrap so that way when you're coating it in your foam spray, the foam spray doesn't fall through the chicken wire. The foam spray I'm using is called Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks. It's an insulation foam spray that I found on Amazon.com, but it's actually cheaper in my local hardware store. I went through about 16 cans of this and you actually get a discount if you buy it in bulk. So make sure you have enough. Once you coat your spider in the foam spray, you wanna let it dry and expand before you move it to coat the other side. It's incredibly sticky as it is an adhesive. So you don't wanna touch it until it's fully cured. At this point in my build, I decided that my spider wasn't big enough, so I went back to build another dome out of the chicken wire and coated that in another layer of saran wrap and started covering it in the foam spray. It was really important to me that this was the focal point of my Halloween decorations, so I really wanted it to be huge and impactful. Two thousand years later. After five trips back and forth to the hardware store to get more foam, it was finally cured and dried and I was ready to start attaching my legs. For the legs, I found a 10 pack of half inch PVC pipe on amazon.com. Once I cut holes in my spider build, I put those 90 degree elbows in the holes and then I covered them with some more spray foam adhesive to lock them into place. For my spider's legs, I found some cheap pipe insulating tubes on Amazon that I cut down to size for the different sections of the leg. I cut these down based on how much material I had, not based on a specific measurement. Once each piece of leg was cut, I taped a piece of wire to the two inch PVC pipe so that I could attach my spider legs to the wire. For the eyes of the spider, I painted the inside of some of these clear plastic fillable ornaments that I got from Amazon. Once the eyes were attached, I painted the entire spider in a black latex paint. See you next time!